What's up guys, today we are watching episode 7 of Wednesday. So, last episode, Wednesday, Tyler, Enid, they broke into the old Gates house and they found some pretty sketchy shit. And from whatever they found, I've come to determine that the therapist girl has to be the old, like, Gates sister. And she must be working with the monster thing. If she's not, I'm gonna be surprised, but like, why else would the body parts of his victims be there, you know? It makes no sense. But Tyler is also very, like, very suspicious because he got attacked by the monster, but he didn't die or like get put in a coma. Like he barely had anything done to him and that kind of just like messes with me. Like why, you know? But I'm gonna find out more about this show, so let's get into the episode. I enjoy funerals. Who died? Don't tell me it was Eugene. Mayor Walker was murdered. Oh. I totally forgot about him. But the final gambit has yet to be played. The killer will make a mistake. And I'll be ready. I'm ready to see what that mistake is. I just want to know who it is. Still as sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. Uncle Fester. I didn't think they would put her uncle in the show. <laughs> I was waiting for it to be someone totally different. Just to keep him on his toes. Of course. He filled me in on what's been going on. Monsters, murder, mayhem. What fun. <laughs> this place belongs to a friend. You've actually made a friend. That poor kid will be going home in a body bag. He's already in a coma. Haven't been able to identify it. Ooh. It's called a hide. Hmm. Transformed in the middle of a Chopin sonata. Massacred a dozen audience members. And three music critics. What triggered her? He's saying that was such like he's saying that was smiles. I only saw her in group electroshock therapy. Group electroshock therapy. Keep their hands off each other now. Why they? I showed up unannounced one night in Gomez's dorm room. Let's just say I wasn't interrupting a pillow fight. <laughs> if you are discovered, I will disown you and collect all the reward money tied to your capture. I'd expect nothing less. <laughs> and try to find ways to endanger literally everybody she comes into contact with. In fact, Yoko and I are so in sync that she's begging me to be her new roomie, permanently. She wouldn't do that. Uncle Fester? Who's Uncle Fester? Why are you randomly everywhere? Each day, you arrived at the meeting house just minutes after the monster had disappeared, yet you say you didn't see it. They're just putting him at the wrong place at the wrong time. Been attacked at the Gates Mansion. If I am the monster, why haven't I killed you? He's got a point. How long have you been lurking? Long enough to feel the tension between you two. Yowza! <laughs> Hello, thing! You 
can't still be mad about the Kalamazoo job. It wasn't my fault. Oh, you said you could crack that safe in 30 seconds. That's why you never have beef with Thing. He'll choke you out. To our replay of Kalamazoo. That's a lot considering he's just a hand. And it's like, how? I don't want to question it anymore. Causes the hide to develop an immediate bond with its liberator, who the creature now sees as its master. It becomes the willing instrument of whatever nefarious agenda this new master might propose. So it's two people. Someone's the actual monster, and then someone kind of controls it. I was just working on my novel. Enid has requested to room with Yoko for the rest of the school year. I didn't think she'd actually go through with it. Turn into lifelong bonds. I would rather buy a rope. Is it really so difficult for you to admit that you made a friend and now that she's gone, you might actually miss her? For her, yes. Uncle Fester? <laughs> hey! How did he get under those so quickly? Okay, bye. Who are you talking to? It's none of your goddamn business. I know what you are, Xavier. Can you stay the hell away from me? I'm still curious as to who he is going to meet up with. What? I picked it up on my way out of town. You know me. I like to travel incognito. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. At least it's black and white though. That's her style. What happened? He's talking to the therapist lady. So, that could mean he possibly is the, um, monster thing, the hide. So, I applaud your new willingness to delve deep into yourself. I'm seeing you on Monday. We can start then. What did you so urgently need to discuss Wednesday? She ain't gonna tell you now that she's there. She must have figured out he was a hide and used hypnotherapy to unlock him. That would explain their secret sessions. I think the kid behind the counter has clocked me. <laughs> oh, God. On the house. Hey! Thanks, kid. <laughs> Need a refill on this puppy, too. Uh. Tyler. Um, he's really weird. Hi, hey, it's nice to be. <laughs> That's it, from that night. Your father gave you explicit instructions not to be near me. You know, my dad's not here and I want to break. And he doesn't care what his dad says. They also have a bad relationship. And his dad just walked in. Putting these up around town is a bank robbery suspect and he's a real creep. You haven't seen him, have you? No. Yeah, he'd be pretty hard to miss. Oh wait, that's her uncle. <laughs> I didn't notice that at first. Well, between the monster and my uncle. Yeah, no excuses. Figure after what happened last time, you owe me. So you owe him. <laughs> you won't have to. I'll come to you. 9 p.m. Crackstone's crit. Okay then. How's this gonna go? Your job is to guard that diary while I'm gone. I'll be back as soon as I can. It's not a date. It's a mm -hmm. quick program for almost getting him disemboweled. Watch that diary. Go as planned. I guarantee this one won't make you pass out cold. But you do have to close your eyes. Are you serious? At least he's doing it to like 
how her vibe is, like, it seems like he's in a cemetery. You can open your eyes now. That's kind of pretty. He did all that just so y'all can hang out there. Y'all not gonna watch a movie. I saw the freaking thing in popcorns. Popcorn. How do you feel about scary movies? Can't watch them if I'm alone. said it was a horror. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. You'll snap out of it. Say yes. Maybe. Think about it. Stomp on your heart and always put my needs and interests first. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. It's not gonna work. He'll just keep trying. Probably. Definitely. Ah, oh, come on. They were just about to kiss. There's a canoe missing. Figured he might be holed up on Raven Island. I'm not gonna even ask what this is, but I never saw the two of you here. You got it? Okay. He acted way different than I thought he would. I thought he was about to be like hella mad. Thing? Who the hell could have got in there? Don't you do it. Who the hell heard Thing? She actually had tears in her eyes. She cares about thing. Oh, come on, thing. Thing dies and I'm done. He's gone Wednesday. No. Come on. Hell yes. He's not dead. I guess I'll see you at your arraignment of the next family reunion. It'll always be my favorite Wednesday. Be sure to tell Pugsley that. <laughs> to determine if they were just mindless killers or conscious of their actions. What was his conclusion? He was killed by a hive before he could reach one. Damn. Come with me. I have information about Mayor Walker's murder. Okay then. How the hell would you get information? Printed these off my dad's computer. Seems he was trying to track down someone. Laurel Gates. Looks like he started right after outreach day. He must have recognized her there. According to the British police. He was looking for her. She controls it. You know who Laurel is, don't you? Oh no. She's gonna confront her. You're not actually accusing me of murdering the mayor. The roses you left in Eugene's room were your mistake. They're the same variety. That's what I'm saying. You 
you are so out of line. Do you know how violently unpredictable a hide can be? What was your plan to have Xavier committed before you could turn on you too? Wednesday, you need help. What if she is wrong? Time's up, Laurel. Well, uh, she seems shook. So maybe she's right about the other thing. Irrational. Don't tell me the monster's there. Wait, so it's not going to be her. She's dead next. But you see what I mean though? She died, maybe. Eugene's in a coma, everyone else died. What about Tyler? Why is he alive? Dr. Kimbat's dead. This ends now. So did it kill its master? Or were we just completely wrong about who she was? Your painting's been improving. I enjoy this one in particular. Feels like you really- So he saw it happen in his head? In a vision? In your shed. Are Eugene's glasses? Whoa, whoa. Someone's planting evidence. Someone's planting something. No, no, no. Somebody planted that stuff! Please! Drop the knife! Down on your knees! Cuff. Wait, they're really gonna take him in for that? Appreciate the help, Adams. You! You framed me! I'm being set up! I should have let Rowan kill you. Come on, Xavier. Don't say that. Even though she might have deserved... You're back. I'm gone for a few days, the place gets trashed, and Thing almost dies. Someone's got to look out for you, too. What happened to Yoko? <laughs> Yoko's great. I just decided I needed a few more boundaries. There's nothing quite like the feeling of being proven right. Except maybe someone to share it with. Thing may have blabbed about your date with Tyler. So how'd it go? <laughs> now they're gonna gossip about it. We're closed. Then you should lock your doors. <laughs> like who I can trust. Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? Oh God, it does mean it. Look at her being the one to initiate it. So she knows now. It was Tyler. What's wrong? What do you say? First boy I kiss would turn out to be a psychotic serial killing monster. I guess I have a type. It made sense. It made sense. What's it? Okay. Fuck. You cannot tell me that did not make sense. Because if you think about it, once it has been to Xavier's shed thingy so many times, yet this one time she goes there, she then finds like the glasses, the inhaler and all that. Bullshit. I knew it. But I'm, I'm still kind of mad that it was Tyler because it's like they were getting close and they were about to date. And then 
and he's a killer. Which means now she's going to have to make it up to Xavier. Because now she knows it's not him. But it's like, who who's helping him? Because other lady, blonde lady, is dead. Who's, who's another person in there that might, who knows Tyler? I don't think anyone knows Tyler. Well, stu mm, I don't know. I haven't seen like, have I seen like any teachers or anything like talk to Tyler? Dance episode. Who did he talk to? He bumped into or something. Christina Ricci. Yeah. They, well, he only said that he gave her like a cappuccino though. And it didn't, it didn't really seem suspicious. I don't even remember if he's had like a run in with Principal Weems or anything. Cause it's like, I don't think it's gonna be one of the students because that thing was like, it came from like a long time ago or something. I don't know. But it's like, now everything is up in the air. I'm surprised she didn't straight up just tell him that like she knew who he was. But what did I say? Every time she touches someone, that shows that shows them a vision of like them or like some that's like involved. And every time she touched Tyler, bam. It made sense. That's really kind of depressing though. Because I was, I did like him. But I also liked Xavier. But Xavier is now not a killer. <laughs> but it's like why? So Xavier's been having visions and shit of Tyler. That's kind of weird. I don't know. I just need to see what's going to happen in the last episode, so I guess come back for episode 8. <laughs>